Hello everyone, welcome to Diamond Art with Dell. It's time for an unboxing video once again. I have a couple of products here. I am going to show them to you guys. These are from JBKFE. I purchased these on the website a while ago, so if I can find the links, I will add them in the description box for you guys if you are interested in these products. But here we go. We're gonna have a bit of fun together. It's all about having fun and having a look at some cool diamond paintings. Fingers crossed. So I've only got two at the moment to show you in this video. So I'm just going to pop them one aside and we're going to get into this one. I wrote on it, yes I did, because I can get, keep a track of what I buy. If I do that, voila. Okay, so this is the first one I'm going to show you today. Okie dokie. So I have a little 30 by 30. Standard sort of kits come with these. We don't care. I have hundreds. Literally, uh, here we are. Isn't it adorable? This is a little fox. Now, I was worried about how it's going to come up, but it's only 30 by 30, so we can't expect too much for the detail, but I don't think it's too bad. If I had a really big image and it came out like that, like a big size, I'd be going, mm, really? But for 30 by 30, I don't think that's too bad at all. So he's quite a cute little um, fox there. He's got some little plant life or whatever flying through him. Uh, it is 30 by 30. It is also a full drill. I'm just going to, although it's not too bad sitting wise, I'm going to just give it a little roll. See if I can get a little bit more. Eh. A bit straighter, a little less shadowing. So there we go. Uh, this one has 24 colours. That's right, for a little 30 by 30. And I have a chart here on my bottom right and my top left of the canvas. There's also a thumbnail and, of course, your um, serial number and diamond painting size, which is 30 by 30. So let's go down and have a bit closer look, shall we? There we are. A bit more, I think, wouldn't hurt. There you are. Now, you can have a real good look at that chart. It is very clear. I have DMC coding as well for this one. Not that really phases me one way or the other, but um, a lot of people like that on their paintings. This one is 30 by 30, as I said, and you've got your little thumbnail up there. Cute. Um, the drilling field. You see it's sort of that squarey sort of pattern one. It is full drill, lots of white for the background. But it's printed very clear. I don't think you'd have any trouble with symbols for this one, as far as seeing them. Again, my table on this other side of the canvas. Voila! So he's a real little beauty, isn't he? He's got some beautiful colours in him. He does have that real fox shape to his to him and colours, so I think you can sort of identify what he is. He's only hmm, I don't know if lots, there's lots of white background, let's put it that way to the size of the little fox. But I suppose you've got to take into account this sort of stuff. There you go. He's a bit of an adorable little fellow. Now his drills, I'll just show you through the bag have got um, the big numbers on there, so they're nice and easy to read. All your um, code number, etc. as well. DMC is the works. So there we go. So they are pretty groovy. I'm not going to worry about opening all them up. I don't think we need to, do we? Not this one, but you can see it's a very nice fit. We'll have a look at this guy. Having a look. So these are the first um, time I've ever bought from this company. So, but I have seen heaps and heaps of videos. So I thought, you know what, 
Uh, they look pretty good. I'll check it out. Now I have another small one. This has a huge chart. And this guy is a bit cute as well. Look at him. Oh, he's adorable. Look at that. I've got a boring old kit, but that does come with every one of them. So if you are new to diamond painting, you'll use that at your first, and then you'll probably move on to your favorite pen like I have and many others. Look at these beautiful colors. Wow. Now, he really spoke to me. I think there's a couple like this, um, these colored ones, colored animals. I have a hugely printed chart on the bottom right. No DMCs though, but for me, I don't mind. Uh, a mixed bag of symbols, really. Again, I have the same big chart over here. Coding. Oh, here we are. There's a thumbnail, such as it is. If I can not have it shine, it would be awesome. There we go. It's a bit better. Over we here. Lots of glue. I like the clear covers because it makes it nice and easy to see all your uh, drill area and things. That's looking well printed and lots of colour. Beautiful. Yes. So it's not really confetti. You can quite you can still use a multi-placer and chunk this out fairly quickly, honestly, for most part. Lots of colour change, so it should be a very fun project to do. And that's what we want. We want a fun project, that's for sure. Okay, so this one is a round drill as well. I'll quickly just show you some of these drills just so that you can I oh, know, check them all out. Now, again, you have this beautiful blue stripping um, packaging. It seems to have decent drills. I haven't really had too much trouble with these kind of packets. I would assume there's quite a few range of colour in this diamond painting. Beautiful greens and blues and all sorts of things. Even a nice soft pink. So that's those around his face there. Beautiful. And you can see they're quite nice, the drills. There's no real rubbish in there. It's nice little shine. They're not too, you know, nice and clean. Yeah, good stuff. Well, he's a beauty, isn't he? Um, 30 by 30 is a really fun size, especially if you're uh, just jumping into diamond painting. If you're new to the new to the game, um, yeah, definitely canvas size is key. So 30 by 30 is a good little size. You just got to check your image and try not to get too um, too much detail in the smaller ones. If you can keep them pretty simple, they come up pretty good. So there we go. So I've got that guy. And that guy. So I've got some cute little animal guys to show you today. I hope you enjoy looking at them. I think they're rather adorable. Uh, sweet little faces they have. Yes. Much like. So these are the first um, diamond paintings I've bought from JBKFE. JBKFE. I think that's right. Golly gosh. Anyway, uh, lots of fun to be had with these diamond paintings. So I will hopefully get around to them soonish. I have lots going on at the moment, um, dabbling in the paints as well. So ooh, that's been fun. <laughs> I am getting there, let's say. Um, I wanted to do some more different things this year as well as my diamond painting. So I'm doing it. I'm getting out there and having a go. You've got to, you know, have fun in your craft world, I suppose you call it. You know, live every moment. So I am off to do just that. I will see you in my next video, guys. Stay tuned for next week for some unboxings of some more products that I have bought and just been really lazy and haven't put them in folders. <laughs> anyway, enough of that drama. Let's go. Okay, don't forget to hit that notification bell. Subscribe if you enjoy this video. I would really appreciate that. And thank you, everyone that has. And I'll see you next video, guys. Thank you very much. Be your life, beautiful diamond art. 
Get crafty, people. I'll see you soon. Bye. Mine.